Season's greetings to you, Reaction Costanza here, and you know what that means? We're watching a holiday movie, we're watching a Christmas story, which believe it or not, I have never seen in its entirety. I don't even remember a ton of it other than there's a BB gun, and it's a little sad because especially the 80s, I've seen just about everything that was released. In fact, I could even recite to you movies that were released by year, but that one got by. <laughs> While all of the kids in the neighborhood and my school were watching this in the theater and at home after wholesome family fun, I was busy watching my own wholesome educational cinematic journey with my two best friends, HBO and VHS. Christmas Eve is the scariest damn night of the year. Hi, Brad. You know how cute I always thought you were. Wouldn't you rather watch that if you could? Now, I get to do this Christmas story thing with y'all, and there's some background that's interesting, is there was a clip in there from Porky's. Well, the director of this, he made Porky's one, and he wanted to make this movie. I, I don't know why. I guess he was just like, oh, there's no more naked young women in movies. I, I don't want to film it anymore. I want to make this family holiday movie. But... They told him, you have to make Porky's 2 the next day, which is really not very good, at the same time of making a Christmas story. In a way, Porky's was kind of a catalyst and a prequel to a Christmas story. How about that? Now go ahead and rob your parents' liquor cabinet, pour it into a pitcher with some eggnog, sit back, drink up, and let's go. One, two, three... Hey. Ooh, they got the old MGM United Artists intro. I love that. I hate it when they remaster movies and then they just use the new logo, like the new shiny Warner Brothers or whatever. Doesn't get it done. Cleveland Street, how could I ever forget it? We're getting the old Stand By Me, Richard Dreyfus. Christmas was on its way. Lovely, glorious, beautiful Christmas. Getting the flashback. I don't recognize his voice, but I like it. Oh, they got nuns walking Jake around. corner window was traditionally a high water mark of the pre-Christmas mm. season. It's like the old FAO Schwartz. Ooh. That's a cool looking tank. Bob Clark, that's the Porky's guy. Oh, there it is. The uh -huh. Red Rider 200 shot range model air rifle. In his hand it's, was it's all yours, little beaver. Coolly deadly looking a piece of weaponry as ever I had laid eyes on. Been scheming to get my mitts on one of these fearsome blue steel beauties. Oh, are we doing like a nudie magazine situation here? Yeah, we got bodies on the beach. My mother, grabbing for her copy of Look magazine, <laughs> oh. would find herself cleverly See, trapped into is? reading a Red Rider sales pitch. Ralphie on the double! So I imagine he's the dad, but boy, doesn't he look more like the granddad? What is the name of the Lone Ranger's nephew's horse? Uh, Victor. His name is Victor. How did, oh, how did you know that? Everybody knows that. Oh, those eggs look nasty. He's so Meanwhile, intense. I struggle for exactly the right BB gun hint. It had to be firm, but subtle. Flip says he saw some grizzly bears near Pulaski's candy store. He talks so fast, he's like Jonathan Lipnicki and Jerry Maguire. I could tell I was in imminent danger of overplaying my hand. Casually, I switched tactics. Hey, Dad, 
I'll bet you never guess what I got you for Christmas. A new furnace. <laughs> I could feel the Christmas noose beginning to tighten. Maybe what happened next was inevitable. Ralph, Three eggs with a spoon. What would you like for Christmas? Then, I guess. Horrified, I heard myself blurt it out. I want an official Red Rider Cup in action to enter Wayne's Ball Air Rifle. Ooh. What the hell did he just say? Oh no, it was the classic mother BB gun block. First of all, I'd have to learn how to say it once. Then I'd try and say it three times in a row fast. I don't want anybody shooting his eye out. We're going to fantasy go? Oh. What? That's Daniel Boone. Oh no. Oh, they had him even do a spit? This is awesome. It's crazy. See, it, it won't shoot your eye out. It'll shoot people in the ass. That's better. Nice. Adios. What were those things on their eyes? Like little spider? Like what? What did I just see? What is he gonna like kill his family of carbon monoxide? Or is he gonna ice himself? In the heat of battle, my father wove a tapestry of obscenity. I've never wove a tapestry of profanity. Oh, preparing to go to school was like getting ready for extended deep sea diving. Oh my diving. goodness! He looks like that old SNL skit. I'm gonna bump you up. Terrible impression. What is it? Oh. What is it? <laughs> oh, he can't, can he? <laughs> it's a great gag. Well, put your arms down when you get to school. Yeah. You see that? He, he helped him down the stairs, and then he just bounced. Hey, listen, smartass. I asked my old man uh, not sticking your tongue to metal light poles in winter, and he says it'll freeze right to the pole, just like I told you. Oh, somebody's going to do that. Come on, God, wait up. I guess he can run like the 10-yard dash. He just can't. Oh, he just can't get up. This is like pre-backpack, I guess. You just bring your books. What? Are you kidding? Stick my tongue to that stupid pole, that's dumb. That's cause you know it'll stick. I double dog dare ya! Oh, I think I remember that line. I triple dog dare ya! Alright, oh. alright. He's a blast. He's like the, the Corey Feldman and Goonies kind of buddy. Wait, Actually, this is kind of bothersome to me because I... I play it out like and if you oh and if you pull it off like a chunk of your toe oh. it's horrifying oh dude that'd be such a messed up torture to just yank off the tip of somebody's tongue oh they're just gonna cut where's flick Oh, I would be flipping out, Flick? crying, Flick. Yes, Mr. Dean. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, man. The only way to get that off is for it to melt. Holy How are they going to get it off? One time I stuck my head in the toilet when I was like three, maybe four. And uh, my dad was going to call the fire department, but instead he got um, Vaseline and, and got it out. Oh. I think you could at least get one day off of school for that. This kid is hilarious. I'm going to give you an assignment. What I want for Christmas. I knew that when Miss Shields read my magnificent, eloquent theme, that she would sympathize with my plight, and everything would work out somehow. <clears throat> I'm 
guessing here's our, our villain. And he's still giving this kid shit. Ruthless. Oh, and they give him the sinister laugh. Oh, the bully. Farkas. Oh, and is this his little henchman? Mean, rotten. His lips curled over his green yes. teeth. Randy lay there like a slug. It was his only defense. Oh, that hurts hella bad. The arm up the back. In our world, you were either a bully, a toady, oh, or one of the nameless rabble of victims. Hardcore. All right. Who's next? <laughs> what I want for Christmas is a Red Rider BB gun with a compass and a stock and this thing which tells time. Wow, that's great. With a compass and a stock and a something that tells time. Let's watch Dad get chased by dogs. Our hillbilly neighbors, the Bumpuses, had at least 785 smelly hound dogs. Our hillbilly neighbors. I won! I won! I won! A major prize! A major prize! I won! I won! I won! Look at that! Look at a Western Union telegram! Tonight! Tonight! It's coming tonight! 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 Hot damn the night! Oh, Randy. Don't play with your It's also kind of artistic and creative. Starving people would be happy to have that. Can I ask more about cabbage? Oh! Starving people, that's an old one. And then over the years it changed. People in China, people in Africa. You better stop fooling around with that and eat it or you'll be sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'll get that kid to eat. I don't like meat like that. screwdriver, my plumber's helper. I'll open up his mouth and I'll shove it in. Randy. My mother was more subtle. How do the little piggies go? That's right. Oik, oik. Uh, now, show me how the piggies eat. Now this feels kind of weird and better off deadish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's also kind of weird how she like coaxed him into it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Just weird. I don't know what else to say. It is here. Why did he do the... Why did he drop the newspaper like that? Thanks a lot, guys. Merry Christmas. Get the crowbar and a hammer, Ralphie. Fragile. Oh. It must be Italian. Even I know that's fragile, but that's still funny. Oh, there could, there could be anything in there. The kid's still got all the food on him. What? <laughs> it's a leg! It's a, like a, something out of cabaret. That's a sexy looking leg there. Yeah, he must love it. <laughs> Holy smoke with you. Do you know what this is? A lamb! Genius! Genius! I know there's cult fans of this movie. Please tell me it's made and somebody has that. I know just the place for it. Right in the middle of our front room window. Huh. Oh, wow, nothing's changed. Even with the power strip, I don't have enough outlets. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Will you look at that? Isn't that glorious? It's a hell of a lamp. It reminds me of the 4th of July. Turn off all the lights. I want to see what it looks like in the street. Uh, move it a little bit to, to, to the right. Yeah, a little that way. Suddenly he's like an art director? Oh, you should see what it looks like from out here. Isn't it about time for somebody's favorite radio program? Only one thing in the world could have dragged me away from the soft glow of electric sex gleaming in the window. I think the narration is really smart and really good. I knew I was handing Miss Shields a masterpiece. Kids Maybe impeccable. Miss Shields, in her ecstasy, would excuse me from theme writing for the rest of my natural life. You call this a 
The fantasy scenes are going to be my favorite. She loves it. Ralphie boy! A plus plus plus. <laughs> Look at him get into it! This kid is just too funny. Oh, and he's getting the. Ralph? Ralph? Is there something you want, Ralph? I'm just turning in my theme. Kid is so good. Dude, mom's singing it like the top of her lungs. Ah! I never did that. That's a good one. If you have kids or are having kids, make that a tradition, though. Addition. Ralphie, yes? why don't you go help your father? What are you doing here? Mom said that I should help. Oh, Ooh. yeah? Yeah. I like that okay, jacket. Here, squat down. Yeah, that's that. A lot. Hey, I'll hold this here. Oh, like this. Here, I want to put the nuts in it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And... Oh. oh. One brief moment, I saw all the bolts silhouetted against the lights of the traffic, and then they were gone. Oh. Uh, fudge. No way. Only I didn't say fudge. But apparently getting a slim burlesque stalking leg, you know, is fine. Just don't say fuck, you know. Do you know what your son just said? No, what? Let's see what he said. Ready? Uh-oh. Oh, the Over old soap the years, in the mouth. I got to be quite a connoisseur of soap. I had lifeguards do that to me once when I was five and swearing. All right. Where did you hear that word? Now, I had heard that word at least ten times a day from my old man. I chickened out, and I blurted out the first name that came to mind. Schwartz! Oh, I see. Dude, you have to just, like, bite it like a bit? Mrs. Schwartz, do you know what Ralph just said? <laughs> no. Mm. He said... Ah. It sounds like Mom Simpson, doesn't it? He heard it from your son. Me you ever have a neighbor or know somebody that sounds like a bird, like a quack? Oh. Oh, are we getting weird? What? Oh. What is <laughs> Oh, wow. Teachers used to clean up, huh? Oh, kid is impeccable. The way he dresses, his hair. Just thought that you'd be getting tired of the same old stuff. Absolutely Thank you very not. much, Ralph. The weeks of drinking gallons of Ovaltine in order to get the Ovaltine inner seal to send off for my little orphan Annie's secret decoder pin was about to pay off. I used to love mail-away stuff. When I was a kid, you could send in proofs of purchase. You'd cut them out, and you'd send them in for, like, uh, Kenner or whatever to um, for Star Wars toys, and then they would give you, like, an extra figure or something. Now it's time for any secret message for you members of the Secret Circle. Set your pins to B2. My first Eight, secret meeting. Five, three. 25, that's a message from Annie herself. Remember, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Aha, B. <laughs> I went to the next. E. The first word is B. I have no idea what it's going to say. The tension was terrible. What was it? What the fate of the planet may hang in the balance. No, Annie's got to go. 
Why do they keep directing him to move his tongue? And why do they keep doing close-ups of a little kid's drink? Tongue wick. Ovaltine. Ovaltine? Oh, it's a promo. Son of a bitch. Red cabbage. Mm, that's for tomorrow night. You love red cabbage, Rafi. Gotta love the old milk at the table. Always a standard. Even made it to the 80s. And they started putting soda at the table with it. What was that for? Uh-oh. I don't know what happened. I was watering my plant and I... Uh-oh. Broke your lamp. Yeah, right. You were always yeah. jealous of this lamp. Jealous of oh. plastic? Jealous. Jealous because I was. She was. That is the ugliest lamp I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> now it was out. Get the glue. We're out the of glue. Wow, she broke it. And got rid of all the glue. Because she knew that that would be plan B. Oh. <laughs> that little storyline could be like a whole family guy or something. I was disappointed in the margin. Maybe Ralphie could use the theme of materialism. C plus. Oh no, it can't be. You shoot your eye out. You'll shoot your eye out. They're keeping it going. You'll shoot your eye out. Conspiracy. You'll shoot your eye out. These multiplication questions were most missed in our last math test. Would you answer in unison, please? Santa. Yeah, uh, Santa. Why hadn't he not already done that? Oh, oh, oh. oh man, a slide in a toy store. I went to the Toys R Us in New York when that was around. That had a bunch of slides, I think. That was really cool. I love toy stores. Come on, kid. Come on. Dude, I think I'd rather be, like, abducted than go through this. Oh. This is like a bad acid trip. Hey, kid. Hurry up. The store's Ooh. closed. Hey man, screw you! How about a nice uh, football? 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 What's a football? He wants a gun. Hey, what was I doing? Man. Wake man. up, stupid! Wake up! No. Oh, I love the climb up the slide. No, no, I want to miss your red eye to cover and I should do it to get rid of my lay rifle. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. What? Oh, and he holds a smile. Oh, that's so hardcore. The trauma. I mean, hypothetically, think about if that really happened when you were a kid and Santa and the elves treated you like that. Don't worry. He knows. He always knows. <laughs> hey! Perfect. Oh, goodness, look at the time. I hope Santa hasn't had to pass up this house just because some boys weren't in bed. Come on, on the double, on the double. Hip, hip, hip. Oh! <laughs> I love how he's the cute lead of the movie, but he's still a dickhead older brother. Isn't that what it's looked like the whole movie? Like, literally. I noticed that in the opening scene. Wow, a drum! That's mine! Wow, little right here! That's... <laughs> he palmed him by the head, pushed him, and walked past him. Yeah, Ralphie, you play Santa this time. Well, who should I start with? Well, give Randy a present. Oh, you just hand them the present. Alfie, what did Aunt Clara give you show everybody? 
Oh my god. Oh, isn't that sweet? What the hell is it? Like a onesie? Go upstairs right now and try on that present. She went to all that trouble to make it. Now go on. Dude, what a bummer of Christmas. I just hope that Flick would never spot him, as the word of this humiliation could easily make life at Warren G. Harning School a veritable hell. Oh. I glanced a co-worker two weeks ago wearing a shirt with him in that outfit on it, but I didn't know what it was. It looks like a pink nightmare. <laughs> Are you happy wearing that? Do you want to take it off? Nightmare. No, can't tell the kid to take it off. All right, you'll only wear it when Aunt Clara visits. Go on and take it off. Take it off! Very nice. Yeah, did you get everything you wanted? Almost. Almost, huh? Well, that's, that's, that's life. He handled that well. Oh, he had a desk against the wall over there. I knew he'd end up with it, but not here. Oh, there's the little compass on the stock. I don't know why it's even on there, but it's there. Can I, can I try it out, Ma? Can I? Okay, but outside. Oh, I still say those things are dangerous. Shut up. Put on your galoshes and your coat. It's cold out. They should have bought him the outfit. Uh oh. It kicked, and then the BB hit the thing and ricocheted back? My eyes are right. The BB must have hit my glasses. My glasses? Oh no, where are my glasses? Oh no. Oh. He wants that turkey. Oh, no. Let's see. Uh, uh, an icicle, yeah. Falls off the garage and hits me in the eye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I could sell that. Easy. See that there was an icicle and, and, and it fell off the garage and it hit me. Well, don't leave the gun out there. What's going on up there? Nothing. Uh, we'll be right down. But what about my glasses? Well, you can wear the old ones with the crack in them until we get you some new ones. Okay. Yes. They did a thing where he looked at the camera. <laughs> no. His turkey. Do not mess with the man's turkey. Good. I'm glad the dog's got the revenge. I don't even know what he just said. Papa says? No turkey sandwiches. No turkey salad. No turkey gravy. Gone. All gone. <laughs> All right. We're going out. Everybody upstairs. Get dressed. Take the hall Bowling and Chinese food. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh, boy. What? Oh my god, it has the neck. <laughs> it, it's smiling at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is great. Oh, I'm in now. It's got me. <laughs> Sleeping with the rifle. And it's more or less pointed at his brother. Next to me in the blackness lay my oil blue steel beauty. The greatest Christmas gift I had ever received or would ever receive. Bob Clark, you did it, my friend. Bob Clark did it. Okay, a Christmas story. I think that it is the prequel, or rather the catalyst, the inspiration 
for Bad Santa. Because the best scene in that movie is when not only Santa, but his elves are assholes. They just get the kid through. They're, they're grabbing the kid. By, I mean, what they're doing in some ways is even more sadistic than Bad Santa in the movie. They're dragging him by the arm. They're getting him on the lap. And then they're getting him out and throwing him down the, the slide. It's fantastic and evil and funny and weird. That was awesome. Then they also had other things where his mom was in his fantasy, like, dressed as a court gesture with the school teacher who was dressed as the green-faced Wicked Witch from Wizard of Oz, which is also crazy that they have Wizard of Oz characters in here. They have Mickey Mouse. And I love this kid. He lies. He does a fake cry. I got to tell you, the ultimate child fake crier was this Costanza guy here. And you can ask my buddy, Kyle. He will tell you that I used to hold the eyes up like that to get some water going. And I used to go, can he please sleep over? Or as I got older, that's not my bong in the closet. It's your Christmas present. You know, so this kid does a really nice fake cry situation. Not only is he a good fake crier liar, uh, but he's also, as the protagonist, as the kid that we root for, he's a dick. Yeah, that's right. He's a dick and maybe a psychopath. I love this. Just nudging the little brother out of the way. That's all I got. I don't think that I'm going to watch this again anytime soon. I don't know that it will be a yearly thing for me. But it gets a lot of credit. And it's not like Bad Santa crazy weird. But... It's pretty dope, and it gets credit because it did it under a PG rating. I love that it didn't have a moral. I love that it wasn't meant to be heartwarming. And as a result, in its own way, I was all in and touched by that Peking duck ending with the old uh, Chinese food waiter American Christmas serenade. Thanks so much for watching and reacting with me. Subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified every time a new video drops, which is at least once a week. And if you're digging what you see, throw me a like, give me some comments, bring on the requests, and I will see you on the next video.